What does a high view of Scripture look like, and what does someone who holds a high view of Scripture look like? I would submit this. It's someone, someone who with a high view of Scripture is one that opens the Bible daily and reads it. They listen for God to speak through it. They pray the scriptures. They seek to be led by its major themes. They study the Bible carefully. They seek to understand the historical and cultural context. They read its minor chords in the light of its major chords. And as they're doing all of these things, they are seeking to live the Bible each day. A high view of scripture takes the Bible seriously. It may not take it always literally, but it takes it seriously. And it's trying to understand what is the word of the Lord for me from this book? And how am I going to live it? Now, Methodists were called Bible bigots, Bible moths at Oxford. Uh, we are people of one book, homo unius libri. I think that's how you say it in Latin. People of one book. The difference between those, so I'm saying that's true of all of us as Methodists. And if, and if you're not somebody who values the Bible, opens it, reads it, listens for God to speak through it, if you're not really studying the scriptures and seeking to live them, I would submit that you're not a real Methodist. So we care deeply about this book. We have a high view of Scripture. We believe that God speaks through this book, and we try to order our lives accordingly. The difference between people who are open to same-gender same marriage and those who are not in our connection is not over a high view of Scripture, I would suggest, or scriptural authority. It's over our interpretation of Scripture and our presuppositions or assumptions about the Scripture. Now, that's not a that's not a judgment call like these people are better, these people are worse. I have friends who are in both places, and I believe the church needs to have respect for people who are traditionalists who see it this way because I was a traditionalist, and if you say that traditionalists have no place in the church, then you would have had to kick me out a long time ago before I ever would have seen things differently. And some people never see things differently. I mean, this is not about whether we love gay and lesbian people, though it feels that way if you're on the progressive side. It is about how we're interpreting and understanding the Scripture. I believe that's true for most traditionalists. 